A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus A plus English is just so much fun. English education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Uh -huh. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hey, it's time to start the show. Are, Are you ready? ready? Good, plus here we go. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Hi everyone! Welcome to A Plus English. I'm Kat, and I'm Reese, and we are here learning about culture shock. <sighs> I definitely felt that a few times. Oh yeah, I feel yeah. it continuously. <laughs> so today we are seeing what is up with Simon and Lucia, our couple who is from England and. Taiwan, but also lived in Canada. Okay, so yes. they're very international. Yes, they're an international. And I think、couple. today Simon is going to learn to eat. Yes, he's going to have Lucia teach him how to eat.、Mm. Come with the airplane.、Ah. No, no, he's going to learn how to eat at a certain kind of event. Yes, there、yeah. are special ways to eat at special formal events. Yeah. So for our warm-up question, we have: What are some of your favorite foods? Goodness me. That's an impossible one. <laughs> <sighs> How do I choose? I mean, there is so much good food, but I think I'm going to have to go ahead and say that my favorite food in the whole world is a special green bean. I think it's called sujito. Oh. And they have it in China and Taiwan. I think sometimes too. It's like a fried green bean with pork mince. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's crunchy、okay. and salty. It's so good. Oh, I bet it is.、Mm. Yeah, I, I am vegetarian, so I don't eat the pork mince. But I think I've had those beans before, and they、Delicious. are really good. What about yours? Um, that's really difficult. But I think just because I'm craving it right now, I think of the pasta that I make at home. Okay. With roasted veggies、Ooh. with Italian seasonings. That sounds delicious.、Mm. I、yeah. love pasta. Roasted veggies, the、mm. best.、Mm. Yeah. Who needs meat? Um, I mean, you know, some people, some cats, some other animals. Carnivores. <laughs> carnivores, yes. Anyway, that's not what we're on about. We're gonna learn what Simon needs to learn how to eat for. So let's take a look at our article. Culture shock. Simon learns to eat. Warm-up question: What are some of your favorite foods? Simon is putting on a shirt and tie. It's an important company dinner tonight. I'm getting the collie wobbles. Why? I need to remember all the rules for eating politely. I don't want to make a fool of myself. I can help. Let's start with chopsticks. I can use chopsticks well. Lucia goes to a drawer and gets two sets of chopsticks and two plates. At a formal meal, there are different kinds. Lucia holds up the small chopsticks. You use these to eat your own food. Lucia holds up the long chopsticks. These are communal chopsticks. Use these to take food from the dishes in the middle of the table. Lucia points to the bigger plate with the long chopsticks. These are shared plates, so everyone can take food from them. Use communal chopsticks to put food on your plate. This is just like school. Simon imagines he's at school. Lucia is his teacher. When does the soup come? Oh, I know, I know. It comes first. Lucia hits the desk with a book. Wrong. Word power. Company. Company. This company sells computers and other things like screens and computer mice. This company sells computers and other things like screens and computer mice. Chopsticks, chopsticks. 
Ryan used his chopsticks to take a piece of pork out of the bowl. Ryan used his chopsticks to take a piece of pork out of the bowl. Formal, formal. You should wear formal clothes, such as suits and shirts, to a job interview. You should wear formal clothes, such as suits and shirts, to a job interview. Plate, plate. Mom cut the birthday cake and put each piece on a plate. Mom cut the birthday cake and put each piece on a plate. 认识智慧 Communal. Shared. All right. Today we're starting out with our scenario, which is Simon putting on a shirt and tie. So it means he's probably putting on a, a nice white shirt with some buttons up the top, and a tie, which of course goes around your neck, makes you look very formal. Yeah. So what is he wearing this for? He says it's an important company dinner tonight. I'm getting the collywobbles. Yeah, so collywobbles is kind of a silly word that we'll learn about later. But first, we have to look at our first word power word, which is company. Company is a noun spelled C O M P A N Y. Company. What does it mean? Let's find out. When you are talking about a company, it's a big group of workers that all work under the same name and they work together on something. One example of a company might be Tesla. That's a car company. They are a big group of people under the name Tesla, and they make cars. Other companies might be H and M, Nike, Microsoft, Apple, Taipijo, AMC is also a company. You could even have a company with just a few workers. That can be a small company. So anywhere from you know maybe five people to a hundred thousand. It could be small or big. Middle sized. It's just about who is working together. It's under the same name, and they offer services and things. So an example sentence for company would be: This company sells computers and other things like screens and computer mice. This company sells computers and other things like screens and computer mice. All right. So he's going to a big company dinner.、Mm. He's got the collywobbles. The what now? The collywobbles. Yeah,、mm. that's a very strange-sounding word, and I think it's probably something that's mainly used in the UK、yes. in British English. I've never heard it. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it,、uh, and、uh, I guess I'm going to explain it to you guys. But maybe we can guess what it is from the context of the sentence. So, how might you feel just before a big, important company dinner? <laughs> yes, you might have the collywobbles. You might feel nervous, anxious. Or even a little bit sick with anticipation. That's when you're waiting for something to happen, and it's、mm. not always a very good feeling.、Yeah. That's the collywobbles. Okay. Feeling a bit worried about something. Sometimes you get that feeling in your stomach.、Uh, doing a big presentation in class gives me the collywobbles. Ah,、Ooh. let me think. What gives me the collywobbles? Ah, I don't know. Anyway, so. Yeah, what's happening here? Simon is getting ready. He's feeling very nervous. He is,、yeah. and the article's going to continue. And we've got a picture of Lucia, who's helping him with his tie. Right. So he's trying to dress up and look very smart. Yes. And Lucia then says, "Why?" Why、in response to Simon's question, yeah.、Uh, uh, so Simon's statement about being、uh, nervous,、mm. and then Simon says, "I need to remember all the rules for eating." Politely. Uh huh.、Oh. So it's not about learning how to put food in your mouth. It's about what you do around putting food in your mouth. <laughs> exactly. And I think every different country and culture、mm. and situation calls for different rules、yeah. about eating, right? I agree. So sometimes in the UK, for example, if you go to a very fancy, expensive dinner, there might be like five forks and five knives and five、yeah. spoons to use at different times. And you have to go outside in, right? I think that's the、I、rule. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's very complicated. So of course, since he's going to a dinner like this, he wants to know the rules. He says, "I don't want to make a fool of myself." 
When it, you say you want to not make a fool of yourself or make a fool of somebody else, it means you don't want to embarrass yourself. You don't want to make yourself look stupid and like you don't know what you're doing.、Mm -hmm. Making a fool of yourself means you probably did something dumb in front of other people. Yeah. Like if you slip in a puddle when on rainy day and fall on your butt, that's Then, making a fool of yourself. Yes. Or if you answer a question. In class, with a really silly answer, and everyone laughs at you. Yeah. Maybe you're making a fool of yourself. Oh dear. Yeah.、Uh, well, the article is going to continue with Lucia, and she says, "I can help. Let's、Yay. start with chopsticks." Okay. Okay. So before we talk about the word chopsticks, let's talk about the word "can" and how it's used here.、Mm -hmm. So Lucia, Lucia said that she can help. So that means helping is something that she is able to do. Lucia is saying that she is going to help Simon remember all of the rules about eating.、Mm. To better know about how to use can, let's first go to our magic box. All right. Magic box, 找亮点。大家好，我是星座专家唐奇阳，又到了每周星座的时间了。双子座的朋友 ，Can you keep a secret？ 你可以保守秘密吗？在占星学当中哦，双子座本来就掌管了这个讯息的传递，很多时候呢，哎，不是自己打听了，但是这些八卦的秘密就自己传到你的耳朵了。要提醒你哦，有些事情听听就好了，多嘴了，小心惹祸上身哦。Can you keep a secret? 你可以保守秘密吗？可以，不可以？我们呢就要使用这个助动词 can. Can 这个助动词呢可以用在几种情境哦。首先呢，它可以表达你所具备的能力。比方说呢 ，I can speak Spanish. 我会讲西班牙文哦。那呢，它也可以用来表达许可。比方说，妈妈跟你说 ，You can watch television after you finish your homework. 你功课写完之后呢，就可以看电视啦。另外呢，跟中文一样啊 ，can 的这个可以呢，也可以用来呢表达可能性。比方说 ，It can be diamond。哎呀，他今天戴了一条项链，好美哦。哎，那可以是钻石哦，中文就会翻译为那可能是钻石，可能的意思。那 can 呢，作为助动词哦，就可以使用在以上的情境。那要怎么用它来造句呢？首先啊，在肯定句的时候呢，我们就把它放在。主词后面，动词之前 ，I can play baseball. 我会打棒球哦。I 主词 can 助动词后面呢，加上原形动词 play。那如果是否定的话呢，我们就可以加上 not， OK， 可以是呢 can not 两个字分开来，或者是呢 can not 合在一起变成一个字哦，或者是缩写 can't， C A N 一撇再加一个 T 哦， I can't play tennis， 我不会打网球、哦。那问句要怎么问呢 ？OK， 我们分成是非题跟解答题了。是非题的话呢，我们可以直接倒装。例如呢，刚刚说 Can you keep a secret？ 你可以保守秘密吗？回答呢，我们就说 Yes， I can。或者是呢 ，No， I can't。那解答题的话呢，我们就要搭配疑问词一起造句了。疑问词是哪些呢？就是时事、人、地、我。比方说 When 什么时候 ？Where 哪里 ？What 什么东西 ？What Can I do? 我可以做什么呢 ？Where can I go? 我可以去哪里呢 ？What time can we meet? 几点我们可以见面哦？以上呢就是我们 can 作为助动词的用法喽。All right. Now we know a little more about can, but what about this word that she's talking about? Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Well, maybe some of us know this word. Chopsticks is a noun, and it's a plural noun. There's an s on the end there, and it's spelled C H O P S T I C K S. Let's learn a bit more about this word. So, what are chopsticks? Well, they're things that most people living in Asia use every day. Chopsticks are the two long sticks that we use to eat food. Some are made of wood; others are made of plastic or metal. They are kwaizu. In South Korea, they use flat metal chopsticks, whereas in places like China and Taiwan, we use more rounded chopsticks. I actually prefer using chopsticks as they are more accurate than forks or spoons. You can get the exact piece of food you want. I'm pretty good at using chopsticks myself. 
So an example sentence using chopsticks would be: Ryan used his chopsticks to take a piece of pork out of the bowl. Ryan used his chopsticks to take a piece of pork out of the bowl. All right. So chopsticks; those are the things we used to eat with all the time. Yeah, I think they're pretty useful too. And Simon says, "I can use chopsticks well." So he's probably thinking, like.、Oh, She's going to teach me how to use chopsticks. I already know how.、He's, I think I think most people, even if you don't live in Asia, know how to use chopsticks. Yeah, yeah. At some point, and even if you don't, it's not that hard to learn. It takes like a day. Yeah. Of getting cramp in your hand. Yeah, I remember I had a friend who she learned how to do it very well in about a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not so hard.、Yeah. Well, the article continues, and Lucia. Goes to a drawer and gets two sets of chopsticks and two plates. It looks two. Like, yeah, maybe they're going to learn together, or she's going to teach him by showing him how to use them. Ah, okay. So then Lucia says, at a formal meal there are different kinds. Ah, okay. Just like different kinds of spoons and forks. Yes. Okay. So there are different kinds of chopsticks at a meal. I think we're going to find out what they are for. But before we do. Let's talk about another one of our word power words. It is the word formal, and formal is an adjective, and it is spelled F O R M A L. Formal. Let's learn about this word. Formal is an adjective we use to describe something that is done in a way that follows the expected rules or etiquette. If you go to a formal dinner party, you probably won't be eating hamburgers and French fries, and you probably should not wear shorts and sandals. Those are beach shoes. People would expect you to dress nicely and to act appropriately. The opposite of formal is informal, and informal means more relaxed. There is less pressure to follow the rules and act perfectly. You can wear informal clothes if you're going to your friend's house party. So, an example sentence using the word formal could be: You should wear formal clothes, such as suits and shirts, to a job interview. You should wear formal clothes, such as suits and shirts, to a job interview. All right, that sounds good. So he's going to a formal dinner, so there's lots of different rules. So now Lucia has two pairs of chopsticks. Lucia holds up the small chopsticks. She says, "You use these to eat your own food." Okay, so the smaller pair are for you to use personally. Yes. yes. Okay, so、mm-hmm. maybe there's another pair that we're going to learn about.、Mm-hmm. Well, the article continues with Lucia holding up the long pair of chopsticks. So we've got a short pair, and now we've got a long pair. Uh huh. And Lucia is going to explain what they are for. Lucia says these are communal chopsticks. Use these to take food from the dishes in the middle of the table. Ah. Okay, so communal is a word here that maybe we haven't used before,、mm. but it's quite an easy word to explain. Okay. Communal, coming from the word community, just means for everyone to use. Right. So the communal chopsticks are the big pair of chopsticks in the middle of the table. You can use them to grab food, but don't. Put them in your mouth because、yeah. other people need to use them. Yeah. So if you do that by accident, I think they need to get a new pair. Yes. Yeah. I think in Chinese they call them gong kuai, right? Gong kuai. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I've seen those when you have a dinner with many plates and then you have the rotating part of the table.、Mm. Yeah. I've seen those kind of chopsticks before. Big ones. Yeah. And I think you also can use them to cook, right? That's right. Yeah. You yeah. can use them to stir in a wok. In a wok. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the article goes on, and Lucia points to the bigger plate with the long chopsticks. So she has the long chopsticks, and she's got the bigger plate. Kind of makes sense.、Mm-hmm. These are shared plates, so everyone can take food from them. Okay. So when she's saying they're shared plates, it means just like communal. They're for everyone. They're for the whole table. They're not just for one person to eat from. I know in the West we often. Each get our own plate with our own food,、mm-hmm. and we don't really share with other people. Right, this is mine. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's very common to share, like kind of family style in in Asia. I prefer that. It means you、yeah. get to try more different things. Yeah, 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 yeah. and you just say like, "Oh, can I have some of that and that and that and、mm-hmm. that and that?" And you can eat as much or as little as you want. Yeah, 
right. So anyway, we've got shared and now we've got the word power word plate, a shared plate. A plate is a noun and is spelled P-L-A-T-E. Let's find out what plate is. Okay, a plate is a flat dish for putting food on and for taking and passing. It also talks though about the whole object of the food plus the plate. In dining, there are things called small plates. Those are little tiny plates with not too much food on them, so you can eat a lot of the plates. Now if you say, I ate the whole plate, it means you ate all the food on your plate. You can also say this about things that come in bowls or on platters or on dishes. You can say, I like this bowl of rice. Yeah, something like that. So a plate is a flat dish. Now an example sentence for plate might be, mom cut the birthday cake and put each piece on a plate. Mom cut the birthday cake and put each piece on a plate. All right, so they've got big shared plates and big chopsticks. And a lot of food, it mm. sounds like. Well, the article continues, and Lucia says, Use communal chopsticks to put food on your plate. And then in the picture, we can see that Simon nods. He's mm. saying yes with his head movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're transferring the food from the big plates to our own little plates, uh -huh. but only using the communal chopsticks, not our own chopsticks. Right. And Simon's kind of sitting there nodding and he's thinking, this is just like school. <laughs> so he's imagining he's a little boy at school and Lucia is his teacher and he's like, I'm learning. Well, All right, yeah, these, very cute. I think these are things that you need to learn because I probably wouldn't have known that before I came to Taiwan. Yeah, me neither. I think, you know, you could maybe guess it, but you'd want to not be guessing when you are at the mm, dinner. That's right. Yeah. Well, the article continues with Lucia and she says, when does the soup come? Oh, it's a question. Hmm. And so Simon is imagining he's in school. He puts up his hand. I know, I know, it comes first. Hmm. I think he's right. Soup usually does come first, doesn't it? Not here. Oh, no, not <laughs> in Asia. In the West it does, but here in Taiwan and China and other Asian countries, it usually comes right at the end. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, he's going to find that out. Yes. <laughs> well, the article continues and we see Lucia hit the desk with a book. <laughs> I think she's not very happy. And she says, wrong. <gasps> Scary yeah. teacher. Oh my gosh. So anyway, uh, you know, that's where the article ends. It ends with her saying, WRONG! So I guess that's all we're gonna learn for today. Is Simon scared? I probably, he's pretty scared. She sounds like a pretty harsh teacher. So that's the end of our article for today. Reese and I are gonna be right back for some review time. <laughs> Wait for it! It's review time! Okay, so it's time for our review activity, and today we are playing one of my favorite games. It's a word game, and it's a describing game. Mm -hmm. It's called Taboo. Oh, I love Taboo. Yes. Yeah. I play this with my friends sometimes. Yeah, I do too. Especially, it's harder when the word is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. Some of these words, maybe they're difficult to you guys, so we're going to see how well we do. Yeah. So in Taboo, we're just going to describe one of the vocabulary words from the article, but we cannot use the word itself and we can't say it rhymes with or it sounds like. Or spell it. Yes. That would or be... write it in the air. I've seen people try and do yeah. that. Yeah, and you also cannot act as well, just using your words. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so have you got a word for me? I've got a word. I'm going to take the first word, and Kat, you have to try and guess the word from my description. Oh, okay. do my best. So this word is a noun. Okay. And it's usually circular in shape. Ah, chopsticks. Not chopsticks. <laughs> no, chopsticks are not circles. Okay. They're very long. Yeah, this is a, this is a big flat circle. Oh. And sometimes you put food on it. The sun. <laughs> you put food on the sun? I don't know. Somebody has to. No, I'm just kidding. It's a plate. It's a plate. Yes, a plate. Okay, All right. would you like to take a turn? Sure. All right. Now that I'm done giving silly answers. Um, okay. This word means there are a lot of rules to think about. You have to dress nicely. You have to be very polite to people. Okay. Um, sometimes you'll have parties that are like this. 
Right. So I think it's an adjective. Yeah. A describing word.、Mm -hmm. And so the opposite of this word could maybe be silly or casual, casual、mm. or informal. Ah, but that's、mm, I think not saying. <laughs> I think the word is formal. You're right.、Yeah. It's formal. Yeah. yeah. So a formal party. A formal party is a party where maybe you would dress nice and act. Wear your suit and tie. Yes, and act very proper and、mm -hmm. and good and and. Yes. How are you? How are you? Yes,、mm -hmm. I'm doing very well, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> all right. So that's all the time we have. We are not that formal, so we're not going to say au revoir, everybody. So we're just going to say see you in day two. Tara. Bye bye. Bye. Culture shock. Simon learns to eat. Warm-up question: What are some of your favorite foods? Simon is putting on a shirt and tie. It's an important company dinner tonight. I'm getting the collie wobbles. Why? I need to remember. All the rules for eating politely. I don't want to make a fool of myself. I can help. Let's start with chopsticks. I can use chopsticks well. Lucia goes to a drawer and gets two sets of chopsticks and two plates. At a formal meal, there are different kinds. Lucia holds up the small chopsticks. You use these to eat your own food. Lucia holds up the long chopsticks. These are communal chopsticks. Use these to take food from the dishes in the middle of the table. Lucia points to the bigger plate with the long chopsticks. These are shared plates, so everyone can take food from them. Use communal chopsticks to put food on your plate. This is just like school. Simon imagines he's at school. Lucia is his teacher. When does the soup come? Oh, I know, I know. It comes first. Lucia hits the desk with a book. Wrong. Company, company. This company sells computers and other things like screens and computer mice. This company sells computers and other things like screens and computer mice. Chopsticks, chopsticks. Ryan used his chopsticks. To take a piece of pork out of the bowl, Ryan used his chopsticks to take a piece of pork out of the bowl. Formal, formal. You should wear formal clothes, such as suits and shirts, to a job interview. You should wear formal clothes, such as suits and shirts, to a job interview. Plate, plate. Mom cut the birthday cake and put each piece on a plate. Mom cut the birthday cake and put each piece on a plate. 认识智慧 Communal, shared.